Well, we're getting a real misty, like jazzy, noir, kind yeah, of smoky. <laughs> <laughs> that's the start of the show that's the start of the show everybody we're well, going jazz we're a jazz podcast yeah, now is, start talking like it's some <laughs> noir <detectives. laughs> like uh this podcast is funnier than a two-eyed <laughs> raven <I don't> know. <laughs> <laughs> that's not even what it, this podcast has got more laughs than a clown going down a flight of stairs <laughs> that's like a radio announcer from yeah. The 30s. <laughs> oh yeah 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 that's true that's Can you more imagine, like a shock jock from like the 30s <laughs> <laughs> like fucking like open Anthony. Yeah. <laughs> and then I made love to her. Yeah, and this Whoa. Fu- this fucking cunt. <laughs> <laughs> just oh, you're just actually doing it the yeah, same. Yeah, just Patrice O'Neill. Saying, saying the like same <laughs> things, but with that voice. You see, women, <laughs> they're not even as smart as they men. They can't even listen. <laughs> They'd say, we don't listen. I say, you don't. Uh, all right. Actually, that'd be just a normal ass <laughs> take. They'd be like, "This radio is so boring yeah. right now." <laughs> They'd be like, "Yes, I beat my wife." Yes, <laughs> misogyny. Yeah. Great. How we, lo- we love that right now. This is the thirties. Yeah, this is the, the misogyny is way in. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess the the shocking takes in the thirties would be like woke shit. Yeah, yeah. It would be. It would be, be like, just my go- pronouns are <laughs> he her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like I think they should have equal rights. <laughs> yeah, blacks, gays, the whole lot of them. <laughs> Yeah, all right, this is a Get call. Get this guy from off the fucking <laughs> air. <laughs> We're going to call from uh, from Blake in Georgia. Hey, Blake. <laughs> Blake's like, I fucking hate this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you guys suck. Yeah. It's 1930s. I'm wearing a weird hat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> His wife is screaming in the background. Yeah. The kids are crying. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I work in a fucking mine. <laughs> I'm talking to Opie and Anthony. <laughs> I think, you know, this might be a hot take, but jobs were so bad. For so for most men, you kind of understand the wife beating. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> do you want me to cut this part? <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm, yeah, we they I'm, had it much harder. Than they them. had it so much. They worse. were in the mines sweating with the boys. The, be, all the wife had to do is cry a little bit when he got home. <laughs> yeah, I mean the wife like he comes home covered in soot and he's like three of my friends died today (laughs) and you can't even make dinner. (laughs) (laughs) Like I get the anger. I would be so full (laughs) of resentment. It's I suppose I could understand them. They're like, it's a very hard life and a hard job, and maybe they build up some resentment yes. for how easy the women yes. have it. But that is no excuse. Right. No, I'm not yeah. saying it's an excuse. <laughs> but you, under- <laughs> you can connect the dots. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying that it's not, it makes it less shocking and appalling. When you realize it's what they were appalling. doing all day. Well, it's appalling that that is all right. like sucks so for this, everybody. It's 1930, <laughs> right? You, you're working in a fucking mine. You fought in the Great War. Yes. You'd be a little on edge. <laughs> you might be a little pissed. I mean, ultimately, it sucks for both of them. It yeah, sucks. it sucks it for It sucks everybody. for the miner that he had to do all that shit, and it sucks for the wife that he has to come home and, and just and take face, it out on and her. And face that fucking beast. Yeah, he's an animal. Yeah. He's a horrid, <laughs> horrid the person. the kids had to just watch that and then fucking grow up. And what then they fought in World War Two, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. and then they grow up, and, and they they win. And kill their fucking kids fought in Vietnam. Or yeah, whatever. yeah. And then those kids fought in Korea or whatever. And now we just no, complain Korea about fucking <laughs> nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now we're just like, oh, fucking Instagram took my video down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ugh. Like, dang it! I can't say racist jokes anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Fuck, man. Ugh, I, have I to wear a mask. <laughs> oh, it's so annoying. I can't be <laughs> racist. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> the good old days when I could just go to war and hit my wife. Yeah. I mean, no. that was the white dude thing that, you know, it's like, it is funny that the, the white dude struggle was you go in the mind. I don't know. I guess I don't really know. I, I'm assuming just, it was very, the struggle for like the, the, the go home and beat your wife. That's sort of like, uh, like it was very specific to like the boys, you know what I mean? Those, yeah. those boys going to the mines, but I, it's like, yeah. And there were, there were a lot of other people that had a much worse than them. Yes, of course. You know. And they didn't hit their wives. <laughs> Or they did. I don't <laughs> know. Maybe, maybe the black dude came home. It's like, I had to fucking drink from a separate water fountain. This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> He's just hitting, He's just hitting uh, his... Yeah. Someone poured a goddamn fucking drink on me for no reason. <laughs> it's it's a vicious cycle. I didn't do that. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't help. Yeah, yeah. The, no, it's all bad. The husbands beat their wives. The wives beat the kids. Yeah, the kids... Uh, the, the kids... Uh, 
kind of just like dissected beat, beat. frogs <laughs> <Yeah>. outside. <laughs> yeah, or they beat their stuffed animals. They just yeah, they just tortured squirrels. Yeah, or they they beat the <laughs> autistic kid at school. Yeah, yeah. But we didn't call it autistic. No, they yet. just didn't even know. <laughs> yeah. they, they they probably didn't even like like label them anything other than weird. Yeah. You know, like they they were so clueless. That they anyone who had like some kind of learning disability was just like oh oh he's the idiot yeah they he's were a dumbass nerd, yeah or they they well, just not sucked. even learning disability but like autism is very much like a social disability yeah true in a lot of the cases so it's like basically yeah just a weird kid that was what it was called it would just be like a weirdo yeah just weirdo freak yeah. goblin then, but they just had autism <laughs> yeah they literally just had a a, a disease or a disorder I don't know what the difference between I mean it applies is. to so many people everybody kind of. You know, it was like, maybe I have autism. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've had the I thought. I spilled coffee on myself today. Yeah, Shit, am I, I mean, my, you know, my dog died and I felt nothing. Really? Maybe I'm a psychopath or something or whatever. Is that true? I mean, certain dogs I've had have died and I felt very little, but I didn't like them as dogs. <laughs> 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 like, it's kind of sad. <laughs> What's there to not like about a dog? Oh, it, I mean, it, it, she was just, she was, she barked incessantly, like, also, it barked like on a schedule at like six thirty a.m. in the backyard. Would just stand six thirty outside my window, and you just built yeah, up this resentment, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like for an hour. And I'm just like, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna fucking call it. Yeah, I mean, I I definitely have a love hate, not hate, but definitely my dog is like kind of a dick. Yeah, Old some Kobe. dogs just suck. I mean, if we're home alone together, he's like chilling with me. But if if my mom is home, he is like. <laughs> don't come near that bitch bro she's well, mine wow dude you grew up with this dog yeah no yeah. i mean he's just def super defensive i mean i kind of feel bad for him because he's just super he does it's like other dogs bully him <laughs> he like, just he takes just, it yeah he's just like fucking super awkward and <laughs> he's an awkward dog yeah, yeah that's so funny he's just so dude if we took him to the dog park he's just like uh uh um, mom what do i do <laughs> what's, what's his name kobe yeah He's like, hi, my name is Co. He's like practicing. Yeah, <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. He's like sniffing like <laughs> his own ass. Like, okay, I guess this is what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> I sniff another guy's ass yeah. and then they like me. Yeah, yeah. I, he, it's funny that he's like a self-conscious dog. I, <laughs> yeah, like, I genuinely right. can sense that in him. Like, I can sense that like he's like... Like yeah. socially inhibited. He's like, is, is it weird that I'm drinking water like this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, he'll just be shy and embarrassed all the time. Oh. But yeah, so I do kind of feel bad. And he he has his moment. And now he's just kind of blind and deaf, and it's kind of funny. Oh, that's sad. I mean, I, I thought it would be sad, but it is kind of like, oh, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> he's bumping he's so into cute. stuff. Yeah. What a little dummy. Yeah, yeah. But so he's, when you didn't feel anything, you were like, do I have something wrong with me? Yeah, or just like, I don't know if that specific example. Yeah, sometimes I feel like I'm like callous or something. Like, I definitely think you're a weirdo. You're fucking just weirdo brain. What? What? <laughs> What's what? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. What? No, you weren't. <laughs> no, I think you. No, I'm just kidding. Well, you know, you're a little anxious, yeah, neurotic no. mess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confident, dude. I'm like wildly confident. It's crazy how confident I am. Yeah, yeah. I it's mean, insane. I relate to it. I'm a weirdo. I have no doubts in my mind about anything ever. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> keep telling yourself that. <laughs> squirt. <laughs> squirt. Uh, I mean, do you still go to therapy? Yeah, I go to therapy. How's that going? It's going pretty good. I go once a week. I like my therapist. His name is Greg. And uh, it's nice because uh, I've never had a therapist where I felt like I could just like kind of argue. Like, What do you mean, like go back and forth? Yeah, like a lot of therapists, like it feels like they don't have any like concrete points to make. They just kind of like hear you out. And like you just kind of speak, and and they go okay, and they'll go like oh, I bet it did feel very difficult when um you know she punched you in the face, yeah. And then my therapist now will be like, uh, you probably shouldn't think that way, <laughs> 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 and I'll be like, but it's like this and like that, and he's like, yeah, but that's not really true if you really think about it yeah. for a while. As opposed to like, what is sh you know? All right, tell me more. Yeah, or yeah. Instead of being like, I, I wonder what that's like. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like, why are you such a pussy? <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what you need. I feel like. I mean, I, I don't know. It's like, because whenever I imagine therapy, I just, isn't it just like. I'll be your therapist. Go ahead. What's wrong? Uh, so what brings you into therapy, Joe? I'm very sensitive if I'm to criticism and I, I ruminate over embarrassing things that I do that aren't super embarrassing, but I overthink them. 
Yeah, knock that off. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Yeah. Probably, probably feel shitty. <laughs> Why would you think things that make you feel shitty? Just stop <laughs> thinking that way. Wow, I'm cured. <laughs> there it is. Therapy. Done. <laughs> the fucking theme music play. Done. It <laughs> <laughs> should be like the next 15 do second do podcast, do 15 do second do therapy do session. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a funny idea. Yeah. 15 second therapy? That's You're actually done. a good idea. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's not a bad idea. Yeah. Uh, I think I uh, want to kill myself. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> you th- that's your decision? Like yeah, you if to? you want to, I yeah. guess, sure. <laughs> Wait, you're not going to tell me not to do it? Why would I? I don't care. You, I don't even know you. You want to <laughs> <you wanna> do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You keep talking about it. I mean, <laughs> shit. I want to go to Peru, and then I went to Peru. Yeah, just what's literally what's holding you back. I don't yeah. know. My friends and my family might miss me. It's like... You're not even going to... You're going to be dead. You're not even going to think about it's it. It's like, you care about that? Why do you want to do it? <laughs> 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 well, then don't do it. Yeah, it's like, make up your fucking mind. Oh, my bro. God. I want to kill myself, too, if I was this wishy-washy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's like so my dad molested me it's like uh, when <laughs> when i was six and you're still thinking about it <laughs> yeah <laughs> so long oh ago. my <laughs> god dude you're like 12 <laughs> 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 god it happened six years ago man my ex broke up with me a month ago i'm over it <laughs> Yeah, my uh, my girlfriend no longer makes me hard. Uh, I think you're gay. <laughs> yeah, you're just probably just gay. Fuck a guy. Yeah, try that out. <laughs> yeah. I'm gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, uh, what do you do now? This? <laughs> 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 yeah, dude. The, the The thing about therapy, I think, is that like, it's very helpful when the therapist is good. But I've had like I feel like almost counterproductive or uh just like pointless therapy sessions where it makes me cynical to the whole idea why because they like they don't they don't have any input and they have no like spine it feels Does like it help to just vent and not and just it's as yourself? helpful as talking to you yeah and but it's it costs a hundred dollars for an hour yeah th- and I mean, it's that's not the my thing friend is, it's like why would i pay it's like i feel like i have a good like if i have a problem with something i will say it to everyone right yeah if i'm like if i'm like fucking i've i've been the thing where i'll come home or like i'll go to a girl i'm seeing and i'll just be like i'm like anxious about this and that and she's talking i'm just talking and talking about it and she's like could you just please just fuck me like, <laughs> i don't want to hear about you're this. like shut up for yeah. one second <laughs> um, so my friends i think they don't like me <laughs> literally <laughs> that's it i got really insecure because she i, I should have like asked about it but i was i was with a girl and she like if essentially alluded to the fact that I, I talk about that kind of stuff too yeah. much, and I and then I overthought about that where I'm like, is that how she sees it? Where she's <laughs> just like, oh my god, are we are we having another fucking yeah breakdown we session therapy session? Yeah, bud? Yeah, just yeah. eat my pussy. Yeah. <laughs> why why do you think you're here? I don't feel like it. <laughs> yeah, you're just like watch a movie. Yeah, like, I just like I just want to put on like the squid and the whale and <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, so I, I just want to show you like an artsy sad movie that's gonna it's, yeah. It's like <laughs> you're not even. Gonna to really like yeah, it it's and in I'm black and white and in chinese i'm gonna be dissatisfied with your reaction to it <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna like if you don't love it yeah. absolutely and then when you say you love it i won't believe yeah, you. yeah you're gonna think it's okay and then i'm gonna be disappointed i'm gonna like be, feel like we wasted our time first i'm gonna feel insecure then i'm gonna judge you yeah once i once the movie's going on and then i realize that I should have picked something else. The rest of the movie, I'm not into it. I'm oh, just thinking, that's like, the man, worst, we should have watched dude. this other that thing. That is the worst. Like, yeah. a show or a movie or a song, and, like, like halfway, I'm like, should I have done this one? Oh, yeah. Well, a, yeah, a song is okay because it's so short. It's three minutes. You're like, but okay. But then a movie, like, I because sh- she established she likes kind of, like, sad poetry stuff. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, I'll show her a ghost story. She might think it's beautiful. And then a, a little bit in, I'm like, I think she thinks it's okay, but man, we should just watch like a fun movie. Yeah, we yeah, just yeah, watch, yeah. Like we, sh- I should have done the film bro thing and just put on Pulp Fiction. Right, something more fun. Yeah, yeah. There's that's like a weird thing too of like watching. It's more vulnerable. If like for I don't know, showing people things that are funny or fun or whatever. I, funny is actually hard too because if like they're not laughing. Oh man, that's, that's, I I would be like. I've definitely done it where if it doesn't work at a certain point, I'll kind of like change it. Yeah. Where it's I'll hard like, to d- me for me to like commit to that thing yeah. where I go, are you liking this? Is it good? Do you like me? What? Yeah. What, what are, uh, what? Are, <laughs> yeah. How yeah. can I impress you? <laughs> yeah, I just want to have fun with you. Yeah. And I'm just thinking about it. Do you like this or not? I mean, I think that's probably an indicator that doesn't really work that much that you're like, uh, if you ask, 
Well, not if you ask, but like if it's just not fun in general. If you're like, like it would be better if it was like you show somebody something you think is funny and she likes it. Yeah, that's that's kind of when you know, like, okay, we're having fun instead <laughs> of like, how do we have fun? Let's figure this out. How do we? Yeah. <laughs> how can I make this fun? Right, that's the worst. Yeah, especially when you're like getting used to somebody, where it's like because you you're trying to figure out what they like or right. not, and you're like gauging it, where you know, as opposed to somebody you kind of fuck with a lot. And then it's like yeah, and then then also it's like you generally know what they'll like, but also if they don't like it, you're not a f- like. If I showed you something you didn't like it, I'd be like slightly embarrassed or something, but I wouldn't go, oh no, J- J- Joe hates me. Well, like, that's the like, thing. I mean, definitely watching Rocky Stone with my brother, it was like the greatest thing ever. And then showing you an Ashley, I'm like, okay, this is kind of a weird movie. But at the very least, the experience of watching it was really funny. Yeah, it was really funny. Was Rocky like, is hilarious. Yeah, and just doing the Rocky voice while we're watching it, <laughs> imagining him like, shit his pants. Yeah. It's like... Where after he eats the eggs? <laughs> yeah. yeah. He eats four raw eggs yeah. and he goes on a 10-mile <laughs> run. He's just like, oh. Yeah, oh. it's like, you're going to throw up. Uh, There's uh, one part where he's like stretching and he leans over against the wall and she's like, Hey, dude, I shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> he's just running and then it shows like it's like shows him running from the front and then the camera zooms to the back <laughs> it's a shit, shit go all, up, all down his leg <laughs> I shouldn't eat 17 raw eggs like, oh, fuck. oh my god <laughs> I'm just tired of being a nobody it's <laughs> 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 coming out both ends yeah. <laughs> I got salmonella <laughs> Got a case of the show. <laughs> Adrian, come here. Yeah. Come here. Come here. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know where I am. Yeah. <laughs> Adrian's Adrian's just like, so I don't, stupid. I, don't touch me. Please don't touch me. And he's like, come here. Just give me a little kiss. Give me a little kiss. Come on. I'll make you do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if yeah. you don't kiss me, I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> you just fucking punch <laughs> the wall. Yeah, you happy? You happy now? Rocky, your mouth smells like throw up. <laughs> Look what you made me do. <laughs> 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 Rock, she's like, like I like turtles. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Adrian's like, what kind of what kind of fish are these? <laughs> <laughs> you're turtles, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so at the end of the at the end of it, it's like, yeah, it was definitely worth watching. But then if you're showing Rocky to a girl and she's just like, I hate this, and now I hate you. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't know you, and this is what you're showing you're like, me. What the fuck? <laughs> this fucking you? rapey movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's. I'm trying to think of the worst scenarios. That's like when I, I think I've said when I, I've shown at least four or five different girls before sunrise. Maybe, maybe everyone I've been with, I've been like, all right, time to watch a movie. The I romantic got this. one, yeah. And it's and every single time, it's I'm not satisfied with how I'm like they, they're like, yeah, that was pretty good, and I'm like, you didn't love it. <laughs> it's like the best thing you've ever seen. It's so cute. You're not horny right now <laughs> for this. You don't want to listen to a, in a record booth with me. Yeah. <laughs> Cry and kiss. Yeah. You don't think. <laughs> yeah. She's like, That's Ooh. us, right? Yeah. We're, <laughs> you're French. <laughs> yeah. Be French. Oh, yeah. Joe. Oh, Joe, you're so sexy. Yeah. No. Oh that. my good. That's like the dumbass film major in me that's just yeah. like fucking. I, I just want to be perceived as deep so badly. Oh, I cannot believe you showed me this movie. <laughs> I did not even get it at all. Yeah. Well, let me explain it to you. Let, uh, what does it mean so when. In uh, so. <laughs> in, in order to explain that, I have to, you know. So when I was a kid, like my dad, you know, he <laughs> always used to smoke these cigarettes. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not even close to anything yeah, about them. You're I, you're explaining Finding Nemo. He's like, yeah, and that's why like reincarnation is like probably like real or whatever. Oh. And then I gaze up and like longingly into just thinking about that memory. I'm speaking very softly. Yeah. That's oh yeah. That's I mean I feel like Ethan Hawke is probably I feel a lot like you like have that. so much going on inside of you. <laughs> I know I can't barely explain it, but also I'm kind of a douche too. <laughs> yeah, but I also like hit girls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I read poetry, but uh, also I'm you know I I'll make fun of you for. Does that like <laughs> male manipulator thing ever mess with your head? What like whenever I'm doing it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's to mess with their head, <laughs> not my head. I no, I make women do what I want. No, I well I think like uh, the like I think. When it comes to the idea of manipulating people, I don't think it just applies to because I d- like I'll definitely do things to get girls to like me, but I I do that with every person. Yeah, no, I know. I don't. I don't mean that sort of manipulating. Like, there's a much neg- more negative. When it comes to like emotions and stuff. Well, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It'll be like male manipulator music, and then it's like Radiohead. Be like, and shit, I'm I like, listen to. I'm just like. 
like everybody likes radio yeah or like scott pilgrim yeah 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 it's shit like yeah. that it's just like oh the most popular thing among hipsters you know it, it, i, I mean know. i think there's definitely things that certain like i don't know i i mean i don't think i'm like i i mean i i'm i think i tend to be pretty good about like being aware of what, what of what i'm doing yeah you know? like whether or not i'm i'm like fucking gaslighting someone in an accident or whatever but like i don't yeah like i it's mostly like I think there's certain things that the the type of boys we are, yeah, the type of boys, the type, that, of, type boys. of boys that listen to Phoebe Bridgers, yeah, yeah, th- that will sort of be like sensitive, sad boys yeah. that are just. But at the end of the day, I mean, where that comes from is we're sensitive and stuff. We're a sensitive little gay boys, yeah, who like sad music and will like tr- you know try to be all fucking like kind of artsy or something, yeah, like artsy or, or like talk about our feelings with girls or whatever, yeah, as opposed to like dudes who are actually cool yeah (laughs) yeah (laughs) but uh i think at the end of the day it just comes down to we're still guys and guys kind of are shallow yeah 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 there's a deep there's a deep rooted shallowness yeah we still just are led by our uh, we're like it's our penis yeah it's like the uh, swiss army man our dick is just directing us in different directions (laughs) yeah yeah we're like how do we yeah i mean uh, certain Certain guys, the fratty types, where they go, I'm, I am gonna get pussy by doing this, these certain things, and then our types are like, well, we can't get pussy doing that. Yeah. So we got to get pussy doing something else. I guess we're talking about our feelings. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Deep. Or uh, just yeah, seeming smart, seeming deep. I mean, that's kind of breaking down in a very negative way. I mean, it's yeah, like yeah. at the end of the day, I'm just, it's like if, if I, I don't know, whatever, whatever I do to sort of. This is very sort of trying to analyze my m- m- behaviors, but it's like you know, I th- I generally think I, uh, what whenever I'm doing that kind of stuff, it's it's like sincere, you know. It's yeah. like if I'm, it it just gets me when I I know I I say a joke to a girl I just started dating, and it's a joke I've said to like three girls in the past, and uh, I just know it works, or like a story that I just know it works, you know. Yeah, it's I mean. Like, but there's a certain also like that's like you can view that negatively as in like I tell this to every girl. I'm just trying to get every girl to like me this way. I mean, or you can see it as, oh, girls before I've liked this, I'm going to do it again because this girl will probably like it. Yeah, and it's and actually I, a nice thing to do. It's like telling an interesting story multiple times is also kind of a nice thing to do because you've tested it. Well, that's the other thing, too, is I do that also to just anybody I meet. Right. Yeah. I do if thing. I oh, it's, you haven't heard this joke before. Yeah. Fucking time to shine, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah, it, uh, th- I I was trying to think of a joke about something like that about how like I love when something interesting happens to me even if it's horrible because there's something like still great about it. Yeah, but being able to talk about it. Yeah, and you're like it's just in a conversation being like, dude, guys, guys, I got COVID again. <laughs> I got it again. I'm vaccinated. I don't know what's going on, dude. The best thing that ever happened to me was getting ball cancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's something like there's something uh, really nice about just having something to say. Yeah. Even if it's horrible. Yeah, I mean that's where all all art comes from. Stuff happening. Yeah, you know, it's like and or not, like that's just like art comes from anything. It's like any joke comes from just any things come from things happening. It's if deep. nothing's happening, and you could break it down where it's like suffering or whatever. It's like you know, yeah, it's like it, it, suffering is interesting in any regard. It's like at yeah. the very least in terms of like storytelling. Well, yeah, I mean that's like the whole whole thing of like you pay attention to sad shit closer than happy shit. Yeah. In your own personal experience. You know, yeah. it's like if, you know, if you get a puppy, it's like, oh, yay. But you get stabbed in the face. <laughs> it's yeah. like, you're like very consumed with being stabbed in the face. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's like uh, the other thing, too, though, is if I'm in a conversation and it's something gets brought up that sounds like that I could p- throw in one of my jokes. Yeah. One of my, something from, from your my, set? From my set. To like a random person where I'm like, I, I'll get them. I'll get them good. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Do you ever use set jokes when you meet strangers? I no. guess a lot of the people you meet are like other comedians. Yeah, I mean, not not really. I'm trying to think of. Nah, not really. It doesn't happen that much. Sometimes I'll think, oh, I could have like shoehorned in like something in my act here. Yeah, I mean, like if it gets explained, like I think I used the, the am I gay joke. Yesterday, because it got brought up. Oh, why don't you like weed? And I'm like, this is the only real yeah. <laughs> entertaining way I can explain this. But yeah, that makes me think I'm just this, <laughs> this uh, fucking blank slate of regurgitated <laughs> anecdotes and and uh, jokes and yeah, just don't stories. Just start riffing. Just start improvising. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's how new jokes happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had a, I had a pretty good show yesterday. I was riffing a lot. I mean, that's that an feeling. ability that you have that I think would definitely help. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm still figuring my voice out or whatever. But yeah, when I watch you, just like t- it's like, oh, they laughed at this. Let me do it for like ten minutes. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna keep going. Yeah, I'm trying to think of something I did. I, I got. I said like uh, if I had a blind kid I'd abandon him. <laughs> <laughs> That's from fucking it's like uh there will be blood. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I've abandoned my child. <laughs> <laughs> <He's deaf. laughs> yeah, yeah. I no longer love him or whatever the yeah, hell. Yeah, yeah. I was just like um, I said, what is he gonna do? Run after me? <laughs> I was like it was a horrible thing to just say. Physical comedy, just him daddy daddy. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Wall. Yeah, I did uh <laughs> did an act that where I just slowly backed away <laughs> like I was walking <laughs> away just shuffling quietly uh play it put like a little recording of yourself so you can you can Son, think you're, uh, think where you're are still you? <laughs> it's that far away Son, <laughs> uh. <laughs> no I, obviously I obviously I would not abandon my blind child yeah if he was deaf <laughs> 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 That's I, I think I said I would not abandon my blind child uh I just I'm just not gonna have kids because it might be blind, <laughs> so I don't want to even risk that. No, but uh, I don't know, dude. dude. I hope my kid has a has a good ass life. I thought you were gonna say I hope my kid has a disability, <laughs> <laughs> so I could talk about. Yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> you know how much pussy I'd get yeah, <laughs> if yeah. my kid had a disability. Yeah. Like, yeah, he has a lazy eye. So. <laughs> he's got restless look at legs. Weird looking kid. <laughs> yeah, look, he's so ugly. Yeah. That's his disability. Is that his nose is crooked? <laughs> yeah, he can't smell. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that'd be terrible. Yeah, no. I mean, I I just hope he's he's a cool ass dude that I can vibe with someday. Yeah, you is want wait. You want a girl or a boy? Have we talked about this? Um, I don't. We probably talked about kids before. I, I think just, I'd rather yeah. have a son because. Just because I vibe so hard with my father, and okay. I just picture that I I want that I want to be on the opposite end. Someday. Yeah, I want to vibe with my kid. Just be like, dude, I fucking I love you, dog. Yeah, dude, you're, you're my, my boy. You're my fucking dog. You came out of my balls, bro. bro hell yeah. And then someday I'll say to my kid, like, bro, I love you. You came out of my balls. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I ever tell you about when I got testicular cancer? Yes. Yeah. Yes. A thousand fucking times. times. Yeah. To everyone you've ever met. <laughs> um. I don't know. I think I'd rather have a daughter. I want a daughter. Why? <laughs> well, I'm still young. Are you <laughs> in Arcade Fire? Um, no, uh, just because I think I would identify less with a daughter. Yeah. So I wouldn't like project my own bullshit onto the, a daughter. Yeah. Like if my daughter was like lame, I'd be like, stay inside. You're safe. Yeah, I love you so anybody. much. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't do any dumb shit, and we're good. Yeah. But if my son was like, I know, I want to stay inside and play video, I'd be like, get the f- get yeah. your dumb ass Live outside. The that I never had. Oh, you're gonna get pussy when you're 13. Yeah, he's gonna be like, I just want to be on the VR chat. Oh, I hate you. Yeah, there, are, there's nobody outside. Be uh, the only one. Be uh, start a fucking trend. Yeah. How about that? Yeah, I'm I'm genuinely scared for the future of <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. kids and like technology and stuff. Yeah, Just I mean it's how already many video bad. games I played when I was a kid. Yeah, and when they weren't even that great. You had to like be at a TV and you had to like get a control. You know, there was like, it's like. A magazine porn versus internet porn where it's just like you just pull out your phone and you have every game ever and everything yeah. ever well it's like the idea of my, when i would play video games all day with my brother and my dad was like go out go do something go outside don't give a fuck and we're like we don't want to and he's like well you're gonna and he unplugs the fucking thing right there's no thing outside. yeah and i feel like even that parent parental strategy is going away it's like bad to yell at your kids to go outside why I think, I don't know, I just look at that TikTok shit of like, let your kids play video games. Do better, that guy. Oh, I hate that guy. Yeah, and I feel like that's sort of the growing mentality of like, like if your kids want to play video games. If they want to smoke cigarettes, he's eight years old. Yeah. Let him make it. <laughs> he got the cigarettes from someone. That's very hard yeah. to do. And if your like, kids what? are yelling at you, they're just expressing themselves. Yeah. Hear them out. Maybe I am a dumb bitch. Maybe I am. Yeah. Maybe I am. <laughs> You're yeah. right. And I just want to know why you think I'm a dumb bitch. Because you're a fucking idiot. I fucking <laughs> hate you. All right. I'll okay, take that. Okay. I understand. I will consider it. Maybe Here's it. Here's $300. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I'm not going to be. I'm not going to be that guy. I, I, You know what I worry about is that my parents gave me like uh, like probably an, uh, too much attention, like an abundance of attention. Mm-hmm. And that's where like a lot of my neuroses comes from or something. Perhaps. Or just my need for validation. 
is that yeah. like I got it so much as a child. I would like, it's like they're always saying, "I'm proud of you." Yeah, you're like I walked to school. Today. Yeah, 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 yeah. It'd be like I made my own lunch. You're 16. Yeah, that's amazing. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> you know. So like, I think I'm gonna do the opposite for my kid because I kind of got annoyed by all the attention my parents would give me. So yeah, I'm so just not gonna even gonna be there. Neglected. I'm not even gonna be there, dude. Yeah, I'm just gonna, gonna be, be a fucking oh, yeah. I'm gonna be a fucking oil baron. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna be twisting a mustache behind a big wooden desk. Just come home drunk. And Daddy, we miss you. Shut up. Yeah. Be your own man. Talk to me. I hate you. Dad, I may. I yeah. And distracting also, me from oil. As, as opposed <laughs> to being like, I'm proud of you for doing your lunch. It's like it's like I discovered a new chemical today. It's Discover like, three more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, or a nerd. <laughs> Let you go get some some sex. Yeah, what the fuck? Some yeah. money. <laughs> yeah, well, I feel like that. Yeah, that thing of like go outside. It's like I. Yeah, I'm so glad my dad did that. Yeah. Where it's like if he just let me play video games all day, it's like, bro, fuck, I would not. You know, yeah. outside is tight. Way tighter than video games. It's a lot better. It's like I feel like yeah. The older I get, the more I like like. Dude, why wasn't I going to the beach every day when I was a kid? It was ten minutes away. Now I have to drive. It's like. Oh Beach yeah. Beach is sick. Don't know the, what you got. The sun is sick. Yeah. It's like I just want to stay. It's like I've never it's like I remember there was that one day it was like a group of like 10 maybe more of us just like in a giant circle in my friends backyard just throwing a frisbee for like an hour and a half just fucking chilling just talking it's like throwing it the whole time. I don't think I've ever had as like more fun playing a video game. With, maybe with other people, but playing a video game by myself. Yeah, yeah. Never mo- as fun as right. that. Right. It's never that fun. There's definitely fun like playing Mario Party or like yeah, Smash yeah, or whatever, yeah, yeah. but that's still it's like I think other people I just want that to stay. That's on. fun in like a party environment, but it's weird if you just I don't know, there's something strange about Logging doing into that. the PlayStation yeah, party all day. In, yeah, 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 yeah. You're alone in your room, they're all alone in their rooms. You're all alone together. Yeah, I mean, I definitely know kids that party and fuck, but there's also a surprising amount of people, and I don't know, I can't gauge whether it's this not like it's like always been like this, or if it was the same when my dad was growing up. But I know people who just all they do is game. Yeah, where it's like, you know, it's like they'll wake up at like three o'clock, play video <laughs> games with the boys or not. Until they go to sleep. They don't go to class. They don't fuck. They're like virgins at like 21, 22. Yeah. And it's like, I just know a lot of people that are like that. And it's like, they're not even bad looking dudes. They just are complete. They're, I think they're just addicted to video games. Yeah. No, they have to be. Yeah. Well, that's the thing is there's the set. There's a sense of achievement that gets rewarded. That's why they're fun. Yeah. It's you, like you unlocked a thing. You got a new level plus one. Or just it's fun. It's stimulating to play. You just like playing it. It just feels good in your fucking brain. Yeah, but it's just that yeah. like it's that reward circuit going o- over and over and over. Like gambling or something. Yeah, it's like yeah. gambling or social media. It's the same thing. Yeah. It's very similar. Yeah, social media also sucks. I think yeah, I'm addicted ma- to that, but that doesn't inhibit me as much. You know, it's like if yeah. I'm going on TikTok when I have nothing to do with fucking my stupid job. Yeah, and it, it's like whatever. It's right. Like, but then if I'm on TikTok for an entire day instead of doing nothing, it is this feeling of like dread. It yeah, it's bad. Just like yeah, if I don't get anything accomplished in a day, I feel terrible. Yeah, I feel pretty awful. Uh, that was like when I had my surgery. All I was doing was Hollow Knight. I couldn't like really go anywhere or do mm-hmm. anything. And I probably dumped like sixty hours in a Hollow Knight over that month. And it's, it's like sixty hours is nothing for a gamer, I guess. But <laughs> I just felt I'm like I am. F- I written nothing yeah i can't it's like i've not hung out with anybody right i'm just not even reading a book i'm not even alive yeah it's yeah like i'm not <laughs> it's very depressing i think that uh there's no evidence of my existence yeah. other, than, <laughs> other, other than, than the 60 hours the xp yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 no that's definitely um yeah it's definitely not good and and then the games are just getting better to the point where there's gonna the line between it's going to become very hard to distinguish like video games from reality at a certain point. Maybe. I mean, uh, the VR chat stuff is kind of kind of wild. The Have you ever seen those videos of people getting interviewed on VR chat? No. It's kind of like people of New York kind of thing. It's yeah. like person talks about what it was like to be in the Marines and there was like one kid who talks about getting bullied and he's very self-aware and like a very smart kind of funny kid, but yeah, he's like this is pretty much my life. It's just VR chat. Yeah. It's like I don't know how to like if I'm at the mall and I see a girl I like, I just freeze up and I walk out the store or whatever. Like, yeah. or you know, if so, I interact with anybody, it's really hard. But then in VR chat, he can be himself, and I feel like 
the uninhibited. Very sad that that it's probably a, applies to like a lot of people. That's a bad feedback loop to get into as well because it's like you you get better at being on online and you get worse at being in real life. Yeah, well, and also it's very comfortable to be online. You know, if you only talk to your boys on PlayStation, you have all these inside jokes. Yeah. That's, that's where you're safe and comfortable. It's like, you know, the, the in- kind of the whole point of being a person sort of getting better at being a person and talking to people is by putting yourself in uncomfortable situations. Yeah. And people are getting more and more comfortable being comfortable. Yes. You know, it's like, it's like, oh, I don't have to go to a party and feel anxious and weird and what do I right. do at a party? Yeah, when I first started going to parties and stuff, I don't know what the fuck, how Bro, to interact was the with worst. anybody. The idea, you know, it's like, the idea of going to a party where I barely know anybody was almost impossible. Yes. And it's like, then you do it or you kind of like go to them and you'd be like, all right, I in this scenario, I know to kind of ask these qu- type of questions. Yeah. If I'm not doing anything, I kind of know who to hang around with or yeah. like, oh, nothing's going on. Let me ask this this person I don't know. How, how do I introduce myself? Oh, let's take a shot together or something. Right, right, right. And then you, you eventually get better at it. It's not like you fucking know what you're doing at first. Yeah, yeah. No, that was uh, terrifying at first for me. I mean, yeah, what was your first sort of... The first party I ever went to was the... I was scared. I got stoned instead of drinking like an idiot. Oh, I hate being stoned at parties. I was the worst idea I ever had. I took a dab for the first time in my life and then went to a party, and I was just like... Oh my god! I I, I I'm went scared to, and also tired. They're like, it's a Halloween party. Do you have a costume? And I was like, no, <laughs> no, I yeah, don't. fuck. I'm like in like a fucking polo and jeans and uh, like you know, there's hot girls dressed like crayons and shit. And I'm just like, oh, yeah, that's terrifying. That sounds awful. I don't know what to fucking do. <laughs> and then I got invited to like a similar party. And I was starting to feel that way again. And I was like, I'm going to start drinking. Like I didn't. <laughs> and it w- and it went awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it was so much fun. No, it is sick. Drinking rules. Dude. I mean, it does get old after a while where I, I almost want to go back in time to like the first type of things I went to where yeah. it was like not even just being at like anything where it's fun, but just the, the aesthetic of I look around and I'm like, I'm, I'm, this is like what I watch in movies. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. I'm here, I'm doing it. Yeah. It's like that feeling where now I'm there and I'm like not as aware it's of It's like taken for cool granted, it, yeah. yeah. I'm not aware of how cool it is because it's not even that cool anymore. It's right. Like, it's actually kind of, I got to a point where it was uncool. Yeah, yeah. It depends on the parties you're going to though, to be true. fair. Well, it's like, not even that it's uncool, but it's more just like, you know, it's like, let me just get blacked out. And yeah, yeah, sort yeah. Of hang out. And it's like, I've done that a hundred times and I'm right. just like, you know, fuck, I'm like getting hangovers now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, it's not you know, good. And I look around and I see like, I'm like, this is really cool. I'm like, there's like cool people everywhere and like fun stuff going on. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's cool. I like it. And yeah. but it, before it would have been like, I fucking made it, mom. I'm, <laughs> I'm here. I give a girl a hug. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, <Woo! laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. drunk. What do I do? Oh my God, I have yeah. diarrhea. Yeah. <laughs> get drunk, give me diarrhea. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. I threw up outside. <laughs> it's like cool. Yeah. I smoked a cigarette. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my God, I met so, I met these people. I, you know. I don't even know them. <laughs> yeah. They live in the other building. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. For sure, dude. It's so exciting. Dude, and then I followed this girl on Instagram. Oh my god, she followed me back. Woo! She wants to fuck. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> I remember that kind of shit and just like uh it eventually kind of wearing off to where I'd be like, I did hard drugs mm-hmm. on a Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah. oh no. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, I fought so hard to get here and then I'm like Oh crap! Yeah, I, I took Adderall for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, this is, this is stressful. I have a headache. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I it, mean, where it is, you know, what it was cool yesterday though, is like going to my friends' shows and like kind of being in that environment and like kind of, like, doing it, like you know, it's like, to to me where it's like kind of worn off, but it is like very cool to be there taking a girl and being around that yeah who's, who's never really it's great who do, who isn't in that type of environment where they're like you this is you're so cool this yeah, is so cool yeah, and yeah. i'm just like oh, I, don't, I don't even know you know yeah, or i'm I, just here yeah this is kind of normal just, wednesday for me just so. vibing dog just chilling bro no big deal like, yeah ain't no thing 
Yeah, Ain't no yeah. thing. It is that narcissistic tendency to kind of build your own identity through other people's interpretation, you know? Is that narcissistic? I don't think narcissistic, but also that kind of thing. That sounds of like, like everybody does that. I mean, yeah. I, I Everybody's a bit. That's the whole thing of uh, you're not who you think you are. You're not who people think you are. You're who you think people think you are. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. Or whatever. It's like your own projected idea of what other people are thinking. Yeah, but I mean, when I, when I introduced her to, well, like when I brought her in, Part of the reason I even like suggested the concept, yeah. I knew it would be fun, but I also knew like, yeah, it's going to be fun and she's going to like it and she's going to think my friends are cool. Yeah, and, like, yeah, you yeah. Know, like that's half the reason I'm doing it. Just I mean, that's get great. Points. That's the whole point. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. supposed to like construct a, an interesting, fulfilling life for yourself and then when other people see it, they want to be a part of it and that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this is getting sort of so or like throughout is is analytical, uh, uh, yeah. Does it, it bother you? It's analytical. No, no, okay. no. But as far as the why the would you think that way? <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> I, I want to be so self aware to to, mm. <laughs> to be. Uh, yeah. Do you want to watch Inside after this? <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, well. Joe is a fucking but when, queer. When okay. I was, there was like some part of my diary where I was writing and I was sort of like, because that was diary? when I was really, shut up, shut up. <laughs> That's where I was like blacking out for like four days in a row. And yeah. like my roommates would like tell me all the shit I do. And I'm like, I should stop doing this. Oh yeah. And you'd come uh, home and you'd be like, I'd be like, gay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> or no, literally I'd wake up the next morning and they'd be like, Joe, you have no idea how gay you were. When you, <laughs> you tried to you, kiss you me. You almost touched my dick like twice. <laughs> and I'm just like, what? Ah! don't remember that and, and you uh, do you totally remember it <laughs> <laughs> you loved every second of it and you're sober yeah but um the yeah it was more just i was trying to analyze like am i doing this because i like it or am i just like trying to construct this sort of like i like identity for myself or this narrative play the that movie I'm like, back yeah, then I'm like, who is Joe? Joe is like a he gets drunk, you know. It's yeah. like, do I even like getting drunk? Or do <laughs> I Joe's an alcoholic. Yeah, yeah <laughs> no, so, it is that thing. I'm doing so self destructive cool. things just to kind of be like, you know, being like, oh my. I think part of it is like given to me by like my father, or movies or whatever. This is like what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, I'm yeah, supposed yeah. to be like the I'm the the drunk and funny guy. Yeah, you know, yeah, I'm like yeah. the guy who shows up and he's like. Fucking. Let's go do yeah. a shot on a unicycle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like. How much of myself is doing this just because I'm trying to write this narrative of my own life? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot. I, I don't know, dude. There's nothing necessarily wrong with that. I, I don't think. think so either. If 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 the narrative is not harmful to you and other people, I think maybe is my overly self awareness shit kicking in of like, yeah, try, yeah. trying to, it's the, uh, assuming it's negative just because I'm like aware that it, of what I'm of the mechanism of it, you know? Yeah, I mean, if you were unconscious of it, would it? be a bad thing mm, that's the thing yeah somebody who just does that just to do it maybe it's more authentic i don't know but i mean there's nothing inauthentic about being aware that you're doing something yeah inherently yeah, it's true. not inherently aut autistic <laughs> i was gonna say <laughs> autistic inauthentic yeah just because you know what you're doing i agree but there is something weird about like being self-aware where it does like I guess surface level things, if they're they're more straightforward, and there's there is like a tone of like authenticity to that, I guess. Or if they just do that stuff and they just are who they are. Like a lot of the fratty type dudes who just go out and drink and party, it, and that's just who they are. They don't. They're not aware of. They just are who they are. They're not like, am I trying to construct an identity? They're just like, I like drinking. I'm gonna do that. I like Xanax. Yeah, I'm yeah. Gonna do that. I'm going to do that. Yeah, and they don't. If I question them about it, they'd be like, bro, stop fucking thinking about it, dumbass. I, I feel like they'd be like, they would probably just be like, I, I, I do it because it is fun. You know, well, I had or, that conversation with with somebody, one of my old friends, where he started doing a lot of Xanax, and he was like showing me all these videos, and uh, of like him doing Xanax, which is kind of cringe. But he was just like, I was like, do you ever think about like why you like? Getting fucked up so much, and he's just like, "Bro, it's fun." He's <laughs> like, "Yeah, we're, we take some acid, like go in the other room with some like strobe lights." Yeah, I feel vibing. like people say that. I think that they are aware of it, and when they tell you, "Oh, it's just fun," it's like you're being obtuse. No, I you think are. He's just kind of, kind of a, a. He's a little dopey. He's just like kind of dumb. Maybe I'm like, no part of you is skeptical of your current lifestyle nothing about yeah. you have no little seed of doubt before you take that xanax bar like maybe i'm dependent on these you know like nothing like i just i just have my serious doubts about that i think they're just 
bottling that down and, and stuffing it away and not thinking about it. If you're reasonably intelligent, like I'm not saying he's maybe he's stupid. Maybe he's genuinely that dumb, but I I have enough faith in people to where I go, you know, I just think you people, know what you're doing. The people who have the tendency to know what they're doing don't do it. Like if, if, maybe. There's, the, if there's the thought, if the, you're the type of person who says, oh, is this bad? Should I be doing this? I think those are the people who just stay away from that stuff and the people who don't have that just kind of do it. Yeah, but maybe their... just your, like, your ideology changes over time Like because I was that way with drugs for a minute and then at a certain point I went, why am I doing this now? Yeah, like and it you stop changed. doing it, and it, then other people keep selling drugs to high schoolers. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, being cool. Yeah, doing meth or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I had it was like a shift in perspective, I guess. I guess the reasons I was thinking of doing it so often were just were things like, oh, I always wanted to like feel what drugs feel like, and it's fun, and yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe I'm wrong. I mean, I, yeah, I don't know. I think when I first started doing, I, I think when I first, uh, it's like when I first smoked weed, I don't think I really thought about it. I think maybe part of me was like, this is cool. It's like a cool thing to yeah. do. I think, I think honestly, I'm like all about uh, experiences. In right. Terms just of mixing like, it just, up. Just, I think ultimately that's what it comes down to. If I'm, if I really think about it is like, I don't know how much of it is necessarily trying to construct my identity, but just like, oh, I want to live. I like, I want to do this because it's like, it would be a cool thing to like, I haven't done it before. Yeah. You know, it's like, I, I don't want to die not having done this. Yeah. Or like, I, why would I say no? Bro, I was having like little things like that re- yesterday that were fun. Like what? The one thing I can think of like is me and Sean driving in the, in the car back from the show. And, uh, I asked Sean, I was like, can you sing? And he's like, not really. I, I'll be singing terribly. And then I'll hit one note and it's nice. And I'm like, Ooh, <laughs> And then he's like, can you sing? I'm like, oh, a little bit. And he goes, sing for me. And I'm like, nah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> he's like, bro, just sing for me. I'm like, all right. <laughs> like, so I would have been so nervous and sweaty about that thing. And I was just like, I'll just sing badly for Sean. It'll be funny. <laughs> yeah, it was the worst case scenario. And but it went well. It was I like tried my best to sing, and Sean immediately just made fun of me yeah. and laughed at me. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, this is my fear, and it's not that bad. It's actually yeah. kind of funny. Yeah. And then Sean sang, and Sean, Sean went straight to falsetto, which I thought was so funny. I was trying. He was like, I was like, I don't know what to sing. Give me a song to sing. And he's like, just go, just say, oh, daddy, I love you. Just do that. Just do that line. And I was like, okay, oh, daddy, I love. You. And he was like laughing at me. I'm like, you do it. And he's like, oh, daddy. <laughs> oh, daddy, I love you. <laughs> I was like, bro, I was like, don't do a falsetto. And he's like, I can only do falsetto. That's all I can do. Dude, That's all I can do. Such a goofball, bro. I love that guy. I love him so much. But uh, we just can't release this podcast. No, we cannot <laughs> ever release. That'll be on our Patreon for $1,500. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then somebody in the Wall Street Journal will see it. <laughs> but no, I think if the I were the to Wall Street <laughs> Journal, <laughs> we're going to be we're going to be on like the economic. What are we going to be in Forbes as no, racist? Wait, what is what is the people that cancel like the fucking? I mean, there's a bunch of them. Yeah, ideas. whatever. All right, cool. Yeah, good job, brother. I love you. Love you too, buddy. Piss me.